Hi friends, I'm Kat and I am here to tell you our Sunday story. This week it is going to be the story of David and Goliath. Now remember we heard about Ruth last week and Ruth is David's grandmother. Yes, Ruth's son is Obed, whose son is Jesse, whose youngest son is David. So the story of David and Goliath is a story about uh, King Saul's army trying to fight this other army. This other army didn't believe in Israel's God, and the Bible calls them Philistines. And the Philistines had this big, huge warrior who was their champion. And back in those days, you could save your whole army, kind of, by sending two champions to fight. Whichever one won, then the other army had to become slaves of the champion who won's army. And that's not what King Saul was hoping for. But the problem is Goliath was huge. So he, his men were all afraid. And then this younger brother shows up from Bethlehem. Well, here, let me tell you this story. This is a story about remembering that the God who saves you before, before will save you again. And we trust God alone because God does not change. God will always be God and God will always save us. So here's the story. David from Bethlehem, younger son of Jesse, son of Obed, stayed at home to need the sheep while his brothers fought with Saul's armies instead. Out in the fields, David defended his flock with his slingshot and stones. Remembering past battles, he thought, the God who saved me before will save me. I trust God alone. David's father, Jesse, worried about his sons with the king. He sent David to check on them and to bring them some things. David took bread, grain, and cheeses to the brothers from home. Yes, travel could be dangerous in those days, but he wasn't afraid. He thought, God who saved me before will save me. I trust God alone. While David was walking up the hill where King Saul's army stayed, he heard a ginormous man taunt Saul's men who were afraid. What? What did he say? Why are you cowering to this guy? He does not worship our God. Are you afraid of his size? Shh, David said his big brothers, are be too loud, be too brash, and you are acting too proud. But the king heard about this audacious, unwavering young brother. He heard of the child's attitude and the murmuring from one to another. Who is this young one visiting, asked the king. David, is it true? Do you want to fight this big warrior? If my soldiers won't fight them, then how will you? Well, sure I can fight him, said David. Who is he but a big man? Sure, he has armor, a huge helmet, and a huge sword in his hand, but I have fought off bears. I have fought off lions. Um, okay, said the king. But here, try this on. The king loaded up David with his best breastplate and sword. But from deep in the helmet, a muffled voice was heard. I can't fight this way. I can't. Oh, this isn't me. God protected me then. God will protect me now. You will see. So David dropped the warrior protections and picked up five smooth stones. He said, the God who saved me before will save me now. I trust God alone. He started out toward Goliath, the giant in his path. And when Goliath saw David, <laughs> all he could do
could do is laugh. You send this against mighty me. You send this little boy. Oh, he doesn't have a sword. All he has is a harmless shepherd's toy, said Goliath. But David did not falter. He did not waver. He repeated what he knew to be true. He stood in God's favor. I stand here just as I would stand in the pastures at home. The God who saved me before will save me. I trust God alone. Well, Goliath was still laughing, and he didn't have one ounce of dread. David just fitted a stone and some slingshot, and boom, it hit Goliath right on his head. Then Goliath fell down. No one could believe it. Goliath was dead. That trust that took David to pastures to defend his sheep was mountaintop high in the lowest valley deep. Whether in battle with armies or in battles at home, David remembered the God who saved me before will save me. I trust God alone. So friends, if you have mountains before you or valley low times ahead, don't forget, repeat David's words to yourself. Just replay them in your head. You can say them at work, at school, or at home. The God who saved you before will save you. We trust God alone. I hope you enjoy that story. I wrote it for you. And I hope it helps you remember that we can trust God. And God is with us no matter where we are. All our challenges are important to God. And God will be with you in every single one of them. I hope you'll check out the website to see some of our activities and games and to hear the story again. And then you can join us for Zoom Sunday School. If you need that uh, connection, be sure and email us at cfm at secondchurch.org. And I hope we'll see you Wednesdays for the family devotions at 630. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.